Hey there, Nathan Peterson here, licensed therapist and OCD specialist. Let's talk about OCD, a mental health condition that is caused by intrusive thoughts, repetitive behaviors, and mental acts. While we don't know exactly what causes OCD, it is believed to be a combination of different things like genetics, biology, and environment. Now, there are some thinking patterns that can make OCD feel worse, but don't worry we're gonna go right through all of those and figure out how to change them. We know that the way we think is going to be the way that we feel. So OCD over inflates these certain thoughts, which is why it is so important to recognize the most common thinking patterns that just get people stuck. Here are the top five to be aware of so you can label them and know how to change them in the future. All or nothing thinking. This is when you see things as black or white. It's like the I failed, or I did really great. If I don't do my compulsion perfectly, something's going to happen. It's the I'm a bad person or I'm a good person. I'll feel this anxiety forever if I don't figure this out right now. This all or nothing thinking is common for everybody, even those without OCD. But with OCD, it's taking these thoughts and exploding them even more. When we use treatment, we really focus on helping someone live a lifestyle of uncertainty. Not this or that, it's more of a, yep, I'm recognizing what my thought says, but I'm choosing to ride this wave anyway and ultimately see what happens. Here is another unhelpful type of thinking errors that is very common within OCD, catastrophizing. This is when you imagine the worst possible outcome if you don't do your compulsions correctly, which can make you feel super anxious. The world is over, my future is ruined, I am trapped. The brain wants to automatically go over the worst because it wants you to problem solve. Problem solve, problem solve. We don't want to problem solve with OCD. Do you catastrophize and go through the worst case scenario? If you do, hit the like button so we can all see who relates to you. How about this one? Personalization. This is when you take responsibility for things that are not really your fault. Like thinking the thoughts or actions that you have are causing harm to others. This often is seen through real event OCD, false memory OCD, magical thinking. Many with OCD feel like they've caused this harm unintentionally or intentionally. There's a lot of guilt that comes along with this and it could be the smallest thing in the world. Like my child got sick because I didn't give them elderberry today and now they're miserable and they're horrible and I'm just a horrible parent. I should have done it. I, can't, I missed that one dose and that is why. But guess what? We can never really prove that that is why. Perfectionism. This is when you have a really high standard for yourself and you feel like you need to perform a compulsion perfectly to avoid these negative outcomes. As you can see, a lot of these are pretty connected. This often is related to just right OCD. Many feel like their mistakes cannot happen. I cannot make a mistake. And if I do, anxiety is felt. I'm a bad person, people are judging me, I can never move forward from this. I'm gonna jump to conclusions for a little bit and tell you what I think is the most common negative thinking pattern. Jumping to conclusions. See what I did there? Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Don't, no, oh, oh, I can't say should because that's another one. Individuals with OCD have anxiety mixed with their thoughts and their brain. And because it's all mixed together, all wound up together, it says, well, let me make sense of all this and come up with the biggest far-fetched story I can think of. I'm gonna make you believe that what I am saying is accurate and true. Ultimately, without OCD, we can actually challenge these thoughts and use logic. With OCD, we challenge them in a whole different way because we know logic doesn't work with OCD. With behaviors, using exposure and response prevention is a great way to challenge these thoughts. It says, be perfect, then I'm gonna to choose to make a mistake. It says jump to a conclusion. I'm either going to agree with it and say, cool, man, whatever, or I'm taking this perceived threat and keeping it uncertain. I don't know, maybe, it could be, sure. We'll see about the future, we don't know right now. I feel responsible for something bad happening because I didn't flip the light switch a certain way. Now I'm gonna flip it wrong on purpose. I'm gonna go around the house and flip all the light switches wrong just to mess with OCD. I have people recognize these thinking errors and label them. I am jumping to conclusions right now. I'm not gonna say it's not possible because I would have seen it if somebody hit my car. I would have, I would have felt it, right? I would have see, heard the vibrations. I would have seen it on my car. We're not going through that logic. Instead, we're saying, yepers, 
Maybe I did, maybe I didn't, I don't know. Someone calls me and says, hey, you hit me with my car. Guess what, I'm gonna problem solve it at that moment. But right now I'm willing to live life and take this risk and move forward. And that's applied to any OCD topic or theme. For a more step-by-step -step way to learn OCD treatment and apply this to your life, go check out the online Master Your OCD course. I'll link it down in the description. To up your game even more, go watch this video here where I talk about what to do with these rumination thoughts. Those thoughts I just wanna keep having you problem solve and fix it and problem solve. It's worth your time. So have you caught yourself with any of these negative thinking styles? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.